Hello Plan Community, thanks for tuning into this channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Pam and today you guys, of course, from the thumbnail you guys can tell clearly I have zero self-control. Absolutely nada. <laughs> I said to you guys that I was going to have this no plant buy until spring and yada 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 and this is my birthday, I want to celebrate and clearly I could not even last a few weeks so what I'm gonna actually try to my best to hold myself accountable for this time is one I'm gonna definitely try my very best you guys to one stay away from all of my beautiful plant um, online shops that I do visit from time to time make sure that I don't even go on there so the temptation is real you guys and it just takes a hold of me but I do have this plant haul you guys that I do want to share with you now moving forward if I by chance buy another plant it would physically have to be in the flesh with me because when the temperature changes and it starts getting cold it's really extremely expensive ordering plants online because not only are you paying for the plants and then uh, possibly depending on the shipping rate and then also the um, heating package it can just be really expensive so I think that's going to be my motivator um, that I'm going to be using as far as not buying any plants online but if I occasionally happen to go to some Lowe's or Home Depot by Miracle Chance and I happen to see a plant of my wish list my dreams and it's there in the flesh then I probably will more than likely grab that but I'll just play it day by day you guys and I know some of you out there is probably like I knew she wouldn't have been able to do it that is a big um, feat so it's, it happens you know but let me just get right into it because I'm excited it's not a big haul haul you guys and I just want to show you what I was able to get Oh, but I'm having a little sidebar before I even actually get into showing you guys the plants. I'm not quite sure. Those of you that have been watching my channel for some time, um, you may have noticed that my Begonia Maculata is not up here. I moved my uh, Pink Princess here um, just because I just wanted to be actually sitting underneath this fancy light and maybe some of the light will help it to regain is some of the pink back I'm not sure but the reason why the maculata is not standing here any longer is because if you've seen the post that I did maybe a, say about a couple of weeks ago um, my son made a mistake and he came in here and it is starting to get top heavy and it fell completely off and I believe two leaves broke in the process so right here I have it sitting on the floor let me show you guys it's still doing well it is just really getting top heavy um, see as you can see it's really full and I mean I only have it in this uh, maybe I need to put it in a heavier pot um, I'm not sure but this is just a plastic pot but as you can see it's really tall and it is starting so I can't put it back up there anymore because it's actually um, as you can see topples right on over but as you can see too guys it also started to bloom again um, which I was really that was a pleasant surprise I've only had it bloom this is the second time it's bloomed for me since I've had it but I really do love it and I would be really heartbroken you know if something was to happen to this plant so you're probably not going to see it any longer unless I show it to you guys from time to time. But it's sitting right here on the floor uh, beside me. So, And she's doing fine. But anyway, let's get right into the plant haul. Let me start. It's no particular order, but this plant that I'm about to show you guys, I actually got very recent. I want to say actually um, a couple of days ago or whatever the case may be. And I was actually going to Lowe's to get some... Um, see, I wasn't even planning on looking at the plants, you guys, because like I said, the pickings be slim in my big box store, so um, sometimes, you know, I'll go and check them out, sometimes I just won't, but this particular time, I went there to get some insecticidal soap, as well as some um, dead bug brew, and in the midst of it, I happened to look at the plants on my way to that particular area, but I'm glad I did this time, you guys, because look what I found at Lowe's. This is a Hoya Lucanosa. I couldn't believe it. 
it's in, in this hanging um, basket. And guys, it was only, I don't even know if the camera's gonna pick it up, but it was only $14.98 for this pot. Look at it. And I, I want, I've always wanted one of these because I want that small, dainty looking leaves and it's very beautiful I can see the camera won't pick it up because it's kind of faint but it does have some form of splash on here um, and I'm hoping maybe by it being in my sunroom it will um, bring out some of the speckling a little bit more like I said it's very faint I'm not sure if the camera's going to pick it up because it was the only one left it was like it was waiting for me I couldn't believe it. You ever go in those stores um, the, and you don't really expect anything, you see something of your dreams, you go, oh, I actually went like that, you guys. I think I actually, my breath stopped for a second when I saw this because I was like, is this a Hoya? And then I was like, I think it is. And I did not know which which kind it was. But luckily, thanks to Exotic Angels, they actually put the name on here. So it says Hoya Lacanosa. And I've always wanted one of these, never seen one in real life, always been lusting after this plant after seeing somebody on TV or something like that but I just could not leave this plant behind I mean and at the price range $15 you just can't beat that I mean it's so full and it's already hanging yeah I just I had to get it you guys I would have I really would have kicked myself in the butt for that now I have three other plants and before I show them to you guys I'm gonna let y'all know the reason why um, I got these once again like I said I need to stay my behind off these websites but I was actually looking well I received an email um, from Plantarina and she was letting us know that um, it was a particular day or two days or something like that that they were having like a 60% off deal and I like Plantarina but honestly you guys it's a little bit their plants are pricey, too pricey for me to be buying and um, online and between shipping and all of that. Um, I really don't shop that often there, but the few times that I have shopped, I may have gotten a plant or two, um, and I've never been disappointed. The quality of the plants has always been great. I really haven't had any bad experience there. It's just that it's just a little bit too pricey. But um, anyway, it was a 60% off sale, and I said, you know what, let me just take advantage of the sale. And I just took a look to see if there was any other plants that I wanted, and there was. But before I show you my two plants out of the three that I really wanted, I'm going to show you the first plant of uh, me of what I've gotten. And you... Okay. See this, guys? This is a Fatsia japonica. And if you've been watching my channel, you'll probably like why did she get another one of these because she already had one and I'm about to show you something guys like I said full disclosure full transparency here I'm showing you the good the bad and the ugly and don't judge I know you may laugh some of y'all may actually gasp but let's see this is what my fancy of Japonica looks like Guys, <laughs> if you're not laughing, I'm laughing for you. I don't know you got to be like, what the Hades, right? <laughs> what happened? Guys, this is what happened. <laughs> I kid you not. I did that video, I don't know, maybe about a month ago. I can't even remember. A month, two months ago for the Fancy of Japonica on my um what episode of curiosity grew to plant it was so full you guys so lush and it was growing so well I just knew I had the carrot tips down which I, I still do have the carrot tips down I made a mistake when I got finished um, doing that video with this plant I here I go I want to do some little rearranging around in my dining room and I moved some plant stands or two and I actually moved this plant I moved this plant a little bit away from the original spot and I thought that it was still was gonna do okay because okay I'm like okay I still it still is getting this artificial lighting but it wasn't getting it like directly on it like it was 
and honestly guys I was just losing one leaf after another and then also too it started crisping up because I was forgetting to uh, maintain the watering on this plant if you watch that episode you'll know that the key to this is a lot of light and also making sure that the soil at least the top layer of the soil does not dry out and I was um, missing a lot of waterings you guys and then when the plant started turning down and getting downright unattractive and ugly I think I kind of like lost my hope and energy to try to bring this plant back so I didn't I, I still don't want to throw it away you guys because I think I mean I don't know you know I stick with it to the end um, this one <laughs> this one leaf is still hanging in there and this poor thing is just crisp up and just about to go to plant heaven and but I'm looking at these little I guess they are nodes right here um, these little bumps and I'm curious I'm wondering if anything could possibly grow out of there but I don't even know and I just didn't have the patience but when I saw that um, and considering I did get this plant from her from plant arena um, and I, I saw it I said okay and it was like 60% off where I paid probably 20 bucks for this this one I, I had to get it which is crazy because this is actually less than what I paid for the original plant so this one I actually put in the spot where I initially had it had my original one at and I'm not moving it so you guys if you have a fascia japonica I guess it's just like a ficus benjamina type of thing um, it will have a fit if you move it and I made that fatal uh, mistake and I paid dearly but I did get another replacement and it's very full as you can see and I, I love it very much. I just, right now, I do plan on potting it in here. Isn't this a cute pot though? I, I do plan on probably potting it in here a little later, not now. Right now, I just have it as a um, cash pole. Um, but I just love it. I had to get it. 20 bucks. I, I couldn't beat the sale. Now, my next one, I've been wanting a plain green version of this and I have not been able to find one um, of sub some substantial price range um, I don't know why they're kind of pricey but they are but I didn't have the she didn't have the plain one but she had a variegated one and I just could not say no to this and I'm gonna show y'all guys what it is it's kind of heavy because it's a extra large one dang this is heavy heavy Woo! look at this guys This is the variegated version of the cast iron plant. And I've been wanting one for a long time. I had a cast iron, um, the Milky Way, but when I brought it, it was such a very small specimen. That thing eventually just dried up and I kind of like gave up because it wasn't full. And I really wanted a full one, but the price range that I was seeing you guys um, for a cast iron plant is, was just a little, a little bit too pricey for me. and. And seemingly the price just wasn't coming down but when I saw this you guys at 60% off this plant was in my price range of under $60 and I had to get it I mean look it's in a I guess this is like a 12 inch pot it's heavy 10 but look how full it is and I just love look at the foliage you guys oh my gosh it's just beautiful and the variegation in it is subtle it reminds me of like a big field of just grass where you can just run and um, be free I don't know I'm a little child at heart I guess and that's what I think I I don't know I just and I, let me show you all this leaf right here guys look at that it's a stunner I just love it I have it sitting on my floor I already had a you know, I always buy pots and decorations and things like that and just hold on to it whenever I have a sale. And I hold on to it because and then it always works in my favor um, that I always find a home for it. So I have a nice little um, decorative, um, I say like a bamboo-ish type of bottom pot and I just sit it on the floor. And I have it actually sitting in um, my dining room beside my anthurium big red bird and it's just playing off one another very well I think and I, I, I just love this plant Ugh, so excited this thing is heavy though Whew. 
Man, that thing is heavy. I must really love you guys because I had to <laughs> drag this big bird from out the dining room <laughs> into the sunroom just so I could show you guys. Um, and my next plant, my final plant, <laughs> Guys, I've been wanting this plant for a long time. I've been having my eye on it. And I've been waiting and hoping for the price to finally come down. And like I said, 60% off. And when I saw that she had it, I had to get it. I would have been an idiot if I didn't get it. And it is... I'm so excited. Um, my ring of fire. Guys. I thought I would never be able to, first of all, to ever afford this plant. That's one. So I was like living vicariously through anyone that may actually own one of these. Now I know it's not a huge specimen, but it does have like one, I say two. It it does have three small plants. Um, plants in here so if I can get it to grow out in the right conditions this thing will be a beauty I mean look at that you guys look at the vacation on there just look at that isn't it gorgeous you guys I mean and I know a more mature version I think the color pattern may change a little bit I don't know so I'm excited to see where that will go and look guys also too it has a new shoot right here and this was um, with the 60% off you guys it was still under my price range like I told you guys I don't go past $60 and I mean that's just the high for me that's expensive for me um, in my budget and the things that I need to do in my life but I couldn't believe it. I had to get it, you guys. And I don't know. I put it in this, like, green pot. It's a cash pole right now. Um, I'm going to show you something, too. Uh, right here. See how the roots is coming out? Now, I'm going to leave it in here. I'm not going to repot it no time soon. I probably, if I do pot it up, I'm going to wait until next growing season, if possible. Because I did pull the uh, plant out of the... Um, Hot. I wanted to see if it was root bound. It's not root bound. The roots is for some reason it's just coming up at the top, but it's not really root bound. Um, only way I can actually see me up potting it is if by chance the current soil that it's in, if it takes a dive. Now I'm going to, because of the soil that it is in, I'm not going to water it um, too heavily, especially since we're about to go into the dormancy period because it's more like a cocoa coir type of mixture and it doesn't look like it has very much perlite and I'm quite sure it's like that to promote more of a root growth so because of that because of the mixture that it's in and I kind of want to leave it in that way um, like I said I'm not going to water this plant too heavily if I see it starting to decline trust me I'm going to pull the sucker out and I will mix up my own potting mix um, my, my special made aeroid mix for this because I really don't want this plant to um, take a turn for the worse. I just love it. But look at that, you guys. It's like a little, I don't know if the camera is picking it up, but I can see it's like a pink, pinkish tan hue there. And the speckling on here. Oh, look at that, you guys. <sighs> Ah, I can almost forget that you guys are like sitting right here. Like I can go into a whole nother universe world when I look at my plants. Do y'all do that? Let me know below if that's the case. But that's pretty much it for this video. You guys, let me know if you have any of these plants. If you have any care tips, please share. Um, if anybody have the ring of fire too, and if you have it, should I, do you think I should take it out of this? planning medium or should I just leave it be for now I'm just too scared I don't want to disrupt anything but just let me know what kind of soil mixture you have if you do have the ring of fire um, or the Hoya as well as the cash that plant I'm so excited about growing this thing I know it's a very hardy plant and I hope it likes the area where I have it at um, but you know I'll see and I'll I'll figure it out and get down the care tips as well but you know comment below you guys let me know um, if you have any if any of these plants also let me know too um, have y'all come across any good finds at your big box stores um, such as Home Depot and Lowe's and possibly maybe a Walmart 
Um, I done gave up on Walmart's in my area here, but if you guys luck up with any kind of plants in Walmart, you know, please share below. And as always, you guys, keep in mind, if you love foliage as much as I do and you love listening to planty things, definitely subscribe to this channel. Give me big thumbs up or you can give me a thumbs down. Either way you want to vote is all right with me. Enjoy your day wherever you are in the world, guys. And until next time, much love. Bye.